Hi there, and welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. Uh, as many of you know, I use a, a room heater to uh, heat my aquariums and my uh, fish room. Well, this is the exception to the rule for me. See, I'm going to be bringing in tropical fry uh, from outside, being that it's so cold. And while well, I want the fry to grow rather well inside, and uh, being the heater is raised, the uh, temperature in the lower portion of this fish room, which is below these tanks here, well, it just doesn't get the, to that temperature I want, that being in the 72 to 73 degree range. So I'll be using a heater to put in there. And, well, I wanted a reliable heater, one that would uh, automatically shut off if it got too warm or if it ran dry for some reason. Uh, see, these fry to me are... Well, they're really important to the future of my uh, uh, barb stock. And you know how much I love my Ocasas, Rosie Barbs, and uh, my Gold Barbs. And I said, I'll be bringing them inside. Uh, the good people at Ciara uh, Aquarium Company reached out to me and with their SR306 uh, digital uh, heater with their outside controller. Well, gave me the opportunity to uh, review it and to ensure uh, my fish is going to be safe. See, this uh, heater itself is a 300 watt heater, which is more than ample for this uh, 30 gallon tank. Uh, it's got, like I said, a built in uh, shut off code for if it runs dry or if it overheats. And, well, that safety is paramount. It's also got a guard. Uh, over the heater itself, it's compact, and well, it's a it's got a quartz uh, heater system. Well, it's safe. It's a uh, explosion resistant, and safety is paramount. Especially, you know, I can't go over the safety features so much because my grandkids are always here, uh, and they love. Well, they love to put their hands in the water. And with a heater, that could scare you. And with the guard that's on it, and then the automatic shut off, if um, I turn my back and one of them I pull the heater out, well, one, I know it's going to shut off, and two, I know it's not going to explode. So those are one of the key features you want to look for uh, when getting a heater. And I don't know about you, but the old, what I call knob and tube uh, heaters, uh, where you have to stick your hands in the water to adjust the temperature. I, I well, I don't trust them. Uh, they scare me, to be honest, uh, because of electrical issues. Because there's always seems to be water condensation builds up within the tube. You can't tell what the temperature is, and if there's condensation inside the tube, well, there's a good chance, you know, that you're going to be uh, hit with a shock that you don't really want. So let's look at this uh, heater itself, and then we're going to put through some tests. Uh, and it's going to be over in the next couple of days, and, uh, well, I want to make sure that my fry are safe. So first, let's look at the actual unit. See, it's got lots of uh, coverage on it. It's got some good weight to it. Two uh, great suction cups. Heater actually goes in, in this, uh, this way in here. It'll have a full display, and it'll let you know if it's heating or if it's already at the desired temperature. What I really like about it is it, they give you ample cord, like more than enough. Because that's usually a problem when you get a heater that they give you like a three foot length heater uh, cord. Well, that's no good for anything. So, lots of room here, and that's just on the heater to the control. Then you've got several more feet uh, to adjust to uh, get it to your, your plug or outlet. Well, let's uh, put it through its test, and then we'll go over a few aspects.
to operate this uh, heater is very simple, plus minus, uh, and a range of 59 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or 15 to 35 degrees Celsius. And you just toggle up and down to the desired temperature. Now, just I'll go over a little bit of the operation. So, if you want to bring it up, it's again just a plus. You tell my temperature is set at 72, but I want to bring it up to 74. The red light is on, indicating it's heating, and that my current temperature is 71. I'm also uh, taking a reading. Uh, with a digital thermometer just to show you that the, that the temperatures are within the right parameter. Now you're going to see this one is in Celsius and the other one is in Fahrenheit. Not a problem. You just plus, push the plus minus, hold, and it'll change to Celsius. And just like that, it'll give you your choice of Fahrenheit or Celsius. Hit your register in 22. And there's the, uh, there is the Celsius reading right now. It's still heating. And we're within 0.8 of a degree right now. So that's very acceptable. Usually a uh, plus or minus one degree anyways. And to switch it back to Fahrenheit, what you want is just you're holding in the plus minus at the same time. Hold that for a period of time. You see the F for Fahrenheit flash. And then you just wait for it to click over. You might have to wait a couple seconds. And there you are, 73. This is heating up rather quickly, this uh, tank. I'm really impressed. And uh, the heating element is actually off already. Well, we're going to monitor this for a good day or so. Uh, make sure that the heat stays consistent. As I said before, this is a very important tank to me. I mean, all my fry are going to be inside there within two days. So I really wanted something reliable, and I think I found it. Now some people will say, well the guard seems to be open a lot, as in the fry. But don't forget, the heating element is not that hot that they're going to fry themselves, literally, uh, to the heater. And while we're at it, I'm going to show you how this alarm sets them. Or shut off will work. Now, normally I wouldn't do this with my uh, bare hands, but I'm going to take this. It's got a really strong suction cup, by the way. And now we'll move this partially out of the water here. Did I mention this suction on this? Wow. Okay, we've now got an air one flashing. That means it's uh, running dry. The heater itself is now shut off. And being that uh, I've already got it out of the water, I'm going to place it in this container of hot water. Trust me when I say it's hot, because it is. Just wanted to get it fully submerged. It did get a reading of 99 and then quickly went to HH uh, for heat. Now that is over, I guarantee you this temperature is over 100 degrees. Uh, it came straight from my tap of uh, hot water. I always ensure that your heater, especially the heating coil, is in the center of the tank or close to a filter. 
for optimum temperature accuracy. That's because the water is moving in that location and it's distributing the heat equally throughout the tank. So you want your thermostat to register the proper temperature. So always double check that it's close to a bubbler source or a uh, filter of some type and near the middle of the tank. As stated, uh, I was going to put uh, my uh, fry in here and man of my word, this is how much I trust this uh, heater. All these fry were born outside uh, in barrels and they're all barbs. There's three different species. Uh, each were born in a different barrel, obviously. But I just want to stress, this is how much I trust this heater. Because this is the, the future of my uh, barb stock right here. And that'll tell you everything you need to know. <clears throat> As previously mentioned, you can increase the heat by just hitting plus minus. What I really like about that, I just increased it to 74. But if I, that's too high, I just hit the minus and bring it back to 73 and it'll flash. With most heaters, you have to cycle through uh, if you've already passed your desired temperature and you have to go right through, you know, the 94, 95, 96, and then right back in the beginning at 59. This just makes it simple. So if you want to bring it up or bring it down one degree, it's just a matter of a quick touch, hit the button, and you're done. What more can you say? I've uh, been running a constant temperature monitor on this. It's within plus or one, plus or minus one degree uh, Fahrenheit, uh, which is very acceptable. So let's just go over a couple of key factors on this heater. Again, I'm using the 300 uh, watt uh, heater for a 30 gallon. It's rated up to a 60 gallon tank. I found that it uh, heated the water extremely quick. Uh, it's got ample cord for 8.2 feet. So I was able to uh, plug uh, it up into the power bar up above and run it all the way down into the lower tank and behind me. Uh, that was really helpful. Uh, I like that it's uh, corrosion resistant. Being that it's a quartz too, uh, I, I just feel safer with that. I really like the, the safety features. Uh, well, for my own personal reasons, that's because uh, my grandkids are always uh, mucking around in my hands. And I'm okay with that. It's just with heaters, I get a little nervous. And this will automatically shut off if they have to pull it out of the uh, tank. And it will show error code E1. Now, you saw how hard I had a problem with the suction cups bring that out. I doubt they'll be able to open or take it out of the aquarium, so I wouldn't worry about that part. Uh, I also like that if it overheats, it will shut itself off and play HH. Uh, if it's overheated. And then once it's cooled down, it will automatically uh, come back on. If you uh, shut the power off, uh, it will remember to uh, set the temperature uh, that you had before. I really like the uh, uh, going back from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I uh, see my digital uh, monitors are all in uh, Celsius. So rather than, you know, kind of do the calculations. I can just check, check uh, using this by setting it back to Celsius. Uh, that's that's really helpful. Uh, it, there's just so many great features on this. I really like that if you went over the temperature you wanted, you could just hit minus to get to the exact temperature you want without cycling through the whole thing again. I, I, I never understood why uh, you had to do that before. But obviously, uh, Sierra has the uh, answer to that question and has done it. It's in a great price point range, uh, very affordable. 
and it's uh, a really quality product. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it in my uh, rye tank. I mean, that's the future of my fish right there. Uh, I, I rely uh, on breeding uh, my own fish, uh, so I'm not buying them or introducing something uh, to my aquarium that they're going to get my fish sick, like the some do uh, with another species that I didn't have before, and I ended up getting sick fish. Well, if I can breed my own fish, less likelihood of them getting sick. So I hope you uh, thought this was helpful. Again, I'll leave the link below to go check them out. Uh, I think you'll be really impressed. I know I am. Uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to review this great product. Take care, and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.